Hey guys, it's Dina and I'm back with another video. And this time we're going to do a Sephora haul. This is my first Sephora haul of the year. And there will be, I'm sure, many more to come. We're going to do the Sephora haul today. I love Sephora. Let's just get into it. The first thing I purchased were these fresh sugar bath cubes. This one is the Leche. And you just put two to four cubes in your bath. I cannot wait to try these. I had a lemon one too. This one smells good. I think I'll try the lemon one after I try this one. I cannot wait. The next thing I purchased, and you guys know that I love the Bum Bum Cream by this company, the Sol Janeiro. So I got the Moisturizing shower cream gel and this was $25 the bath cubes were $39 I believe and this was $25 and it smells just like the bum bum cream and this will be good to layer I absolutely love this stuff I don't care how much it costs I will continue to buy this and the bum bum cream the next thing I purchased is the lip balm I bought this lip treatment it was $18 and that's what you get for $18 it's 0.21 ounces okay the next thing I have is this fresh rose face mask and I showed you this a while ago in another video I got this for my birthday from Sephora it was a gift and I purchased the larger size so I've already showed you guys what it looks like I just purchased the larger one this smells really fresh and it has real rose petals in here and I just really like the way that it makes my skin feel after I use it the next thing I purchased is this drunk elephant virgin marula luxury facial oil and this is supposed to be rich in antioxidants in omega 6 and 9 marula nourishes and balances while restoring a youthful glow so we will see how this works I got the smaller one for $40 they do have a larger one for $72 but I wanted to see how I like it first before I purchased it and I also used the drunk elephant the vitamin C and the night serum the glyconic and I like those let me just take a couple of drops of this it absorbed in my skin it's not oily feeling which I like. I don't like to feel oily. We'll keep testing it out and we'll see how I like it. And if it's worth the money. And if it's not worth the money, I will return it. And because these things are in my way, let me just get them out the way. I went to Sephora several times and I got two of their sample bags with lots of goodies in them. The sample bags get me in trouble. I redeemed points, so I got the Tarte deep dive cleansing gel the that was 100 points the solid beauty blender and brush cleanser was 100 points and i i got two of the fenty beauty griselda lipsticks so now that that's out of the way let's continue i purchased the tartise pro lash glue you know i did a video showing you my first time applying lashes and I'm still working on that. But I bought this lash glue in black. I just wanted to see how the Tarte product worked. And see what the black looks like. And if I should use black or clear. The next thing I purchased is another lip treatment mask. And this is the Agave lip treatment. And I see a lot of YouTubers raving about this product. So I bought it. And this is what it looks like. It just comes in a tube. And I've tried these in a sample. And I really like it. I put this, um, this isn't natural. I put it on before I go to bed and wake up and my lips are soft. And I know that because I've used the sample size. And I think this is $26, I think. The next thing I purchased is the Bobbi Brown, the new foundation. This is the Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with broad spectrum SPF 15 and it's supposed to be full coverage and here is the bottle here It has a it's a glass bottle and it's a like a frosted finish and It has a pump. I think this is supposed to be a matte foundation and my color is 6.5 Warm almond if you're interested and I think that's my winter shade. I wonder if I am 
seven or seven five in the summer that's going to be a problem when we get close to summer all right the next thing i have is the sephora pro palette and this one is the warm one that's what it looks like and let's open it it has a large mirror and it comes with an insert with the names of the colors on it and here is palette and this palette reminds me of the natasha denona sunset palette with the colors and I, I think I have another palette that this one is similar to. I think the Morphe palette might be similar to this one. I don't think I will return it. I think I will keep it. And I will do a swatch video later. But I just wanted to share this palette with you guys. And finally, I purchased some Fenty Beauty lipsticks. Oh, I'm sorry guys. The foundation, $49. And... The palette that I just showed you is $68. I purchased five lipsticks. The first one is Shoddy. And Shoddy is like a brown color. This is how much you get. The lipstick is $18. There it is there. I should have brought you in a little bit closer, but sorry. Oh, and I didn't show you the packaging. It's really cute, lightweight packaging. It'll be easy to just throw in your purse and go. The next one is Spanked. It's like rose color. And let me just show you this 100 point one. This is Griselda. My daughter has already claimed hers. She always claims something. The next one is Freckle Fiesta. I really liked Freckle Fiesta when I swatched it in the store. That is Freckle Fiesta. Next we have Clap Back. And this one is a navy blue color. And a color is Candy Venom. And I am here for this color. And finally, this is the Bobbi Brown it's a highlighter. The color is Afternoon Glow. And you know, it's the same Bobbi Brown packaging. And then you just push it for it to open. And here is the highlighter color. Very pretty. Let me swatch it for you. By now, you guys know that I love me some new lipsticks and lip glosses. And I love highlighter. I have tons of that. Alright guys, if you like videos like this, please like and or subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.